Today we got um, chest and biceps. <sighs> nice combo, chest and biceps. It's gonna be a good combo. But yeah, uh, my workouts have been going great. Really, really good, great. Um, for the past couple days, I've been getting proper sleep. I just wanna, I'm so thankful. I've been getting proper sleep. And um, nothing's been nothing's been so crazy, you know, because I was sick. I still went to train. I still went to do what I had to do, you know. I, I didn't want to just like not train and not do nothing, you know. A lot of times when we fall sick, we don't want to train. We don't want to move. That's just an excuse. If you can walk, you can train. If you can move your hand, you can train. You know, the, like, and you don't have to lift super freaking heavy. Just go and do something. You know, if you usually wrap out 100 pounds on the incline with dumbbells, just take the grab the 30s and wrap it out. That's it. Do something, you know. Don't just sit around, act lazy, and be average. I don't get it why people do that. It's so, it doesn't make sense, you know. They love being average, I guess, but that cannot be me. Um, workouts have been going good. Uh, one thing I did notice is when I'm getting good sleep, my ability to not only recover but my ability to just perform throughout the whole day and be effective that also like the chances they it, it increases you know it increases because I'm well rested last week was just so crappy man I didn't get sleep for like three four days in a row and I just get tired of it you know I just get freaking tired of it like the whole you like life the whole process of it is like keep grinding it out keep grinding it out like you know but I, I have no choice I have to like I have to like build my life build myself up and I have to like take myself out of any and every situation you know so I have to I gotta do my best anyways guys <clears throat> today we got chest and biceps it's gonna be a good workout gonna be a good workout I'm gonna go in uh, to this also my lighter chest day uh, I'm not doing like super super heavy on the dips nothing in that particular I have that I have paused reps on the incline bench as well so looking forward on the incline bench for that uh, pretty much the entire session is obviously bodybuilding reps and sets I'm just trying to get as jacked as I could possibly be and uh, yeah right now um, my mind is fresh. I have a, uh, I have green tea, okay, green tea, green tea with water, no sugar, none of that. I don't add any sugar to my teas, just straight up, you know. You guys should try it. It gives you a little bit more mental clarity, and it's good. Everybody should drink tea, you know. I know everyone wants to get hyped up and jacked up on pre-workout and this and that. Man, if you when you have a strong will, you might feel tired, but you're gonna freaking you're gonna do it anyways. You don't really need to have like super high doses of caffeine to get like all spiked up. At least that's what I can say when people ask me about that. Because I'm I regardless of how I feel, I'm driven to train and lift and fucking move those weights. I'm driven to do that. And I will do that. And you guys have seen me, I've been sick, I've been, it's been like stupid and I go and I freaking train, I do, I, I do my best, you know. I cannot walk out of the gym knowing I didn't do my best because that's just some loser activity right there, you know. I, I can't do anything that puts me in the category of loser activity. I just can't do loser activities. So I'm going to go in and always do my best. So right now, we're going to go in and do our best. Pretty sure my body just in general or my central nervous system is just in terms of like being able to produce enough energy is like just a little dim down right now I'm not saying I'm completely 100% beat up because I'm not 100% beat up right but I know my my body or my central nervous system what I'm gonna call it it's just a little down I felt it but even though it was a little down I did really freaking good you know but I was gonna do the weighted dips obviously I did a lot of pause reps on both my main lifts today and man pause reps are gonna humble you so fast they are gonna humble you so freaking fast I want to encourage everybody to start doing pause reps uh, weighted dips wasn't the only one uh, lift
deadlift that I did paused reps on. I also did started doing paused reps on my incline barbell benching because hey, let's get stronger on the incline. You know, I want to incline three plates. So yeah, the power input, the power output when you're doing paused reps is just tough. Getting out of the hole, like you know, exploding up. <sighs> my freaking spine, my neck on the top is just sore. I did high bar squats yesterday, high reps. Oh my gosh, my neck, I can't even do this. It's just sore, man. But yeah, weighted dips, destroyed that. The incline benching, I I'm not going super wide in terms of my hand placement. I'm going kind of semi, like shoulder width, you know? But I'm still doing my pause reps. And guys, as I said, pause reps humble you. I don't know why a lot of gym bros don't do enough pause reps. I, I really don't get it. Like, what's the holdup? Why are you guys only doing rep work? Do some pause reps, go get humbled. Get humbled real quick, do some pause reps. The incline benching, when I'm doing my pause reps, my feet placement, like I'm literally digging my feet in the ground. You know, because you have to stay so stabilized when you're doing incline pressing. And again, I'm not doing something light. I'm doing literally my body weight, 190 pounds. I did uh, four sets of eight reps and I'm doing pause. And you can, you guys will notice on my last two reps, it's literally damn near failure. Like, like a little bit, if I'm not able to push it, the bar is going to fall down, you know? And when you're also inclining, especially the pause reps on the incline, number one, make sure your feet placement is on point. Like dig your feet in the ground, like dig it in the ground. Number two, make sure your back muscles are actually warmed up. Make sure you have like a back pump. Like I'm not even joking, go and do some rows. Go and do like three sets of 25 reps on rows or something so that your, your, your entire back muscles, let it stay on, pumped up. Do hamstring curls and rows before doing your inclines, you know? Hamstring curls, rows, and a little bit quads. You can do a little quads just to warm up and have like a semi pump on those muscles before doing your inclines and I swear your incline benching is gonna be enhanced, you know? But yeah, man, after doing the incline benching, today I did something a little bit different. I started doing incline single arm dumbbell press. I'm gonna start doing this a lot more. The single arm lifts. You guys are gonna see me do single arm oh, dumbbell overhead presses too. I used to do these a very long time ago when I used to train in my garage. Those who've been an OG subscriber of mine, you guys know I used to do a lot of single arm, like incline, single arm press, single arm dumbbell extensions, single arm rows. Man, I used to do so many single arm lifts. But right now I told myself that I need to start going back to that again, you know, so I can really balance out the imbalances that I have on my arms, on my muscle groups. Like today when I was doing the single arm, the incline, my right side is not as stabilized as my left side so that's a weakness right and the only way i can balance it out by doing these single arm lifts you know so that's why i started doing it i noticed i, I just i noticed how tough it was you know it just reminded me of the old days that i used to do these lifts it just it's just hard man when you're doing single arm lifts it's just freaking hard you know you guys should definitely try it out don't just do some basic lifts on your gym days. Every single day, you're gonna like not really make as much progress. Do something different sometimes, you know? It's okay to do something different. But again, don't always change your program, right? These are my accessory lifts. Like the incline dumbbell is literally like an accessory lift of mine so that it can help my incline barbell press. After doing that, I did some, oh, I'm so sleepy. I did some peg deck. Peg decks went good. Deep stretches on the peg deck, guys. Deep freaking stretches. Very soon, I noticed the peg deck machine, I'm gonna max it out very soon. And once that happens, I'm gonna have to add like, you know, a 10 pound or 25 pound plate on it. Um, it's coming. I'm getting so close into maxing out a lot of my uh, weights in my gym. And my gym has, your regular gym has a certain amount of weights in a machine, for example. My gym has way more than that, you know, because they, they've maxed it out, you know? So if I'm already max, gonna max out a lot of these machines, I'm gonna need to figure out how to make it harder, you know? Again, pause reps are there, I can do bad. But yeah. Oh, I'm so sleepy. But yeah, man. Pec decks, deep stretch, max out the machines, get that insane 
insane muscle contraction, man. My chest muscles are a little sore. After that, I finished it off with some, uh, I think these are the Preacher Machine Curls. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to notice it fully, but when I was doing this machine, there's a way of doing this machine because when you're curling, right on the top right here, the tension is barely, it's not even there. So there's not much tension there, right? So this is where I can kind of rest. For me, when I was doing that, I made sure my arms are fully extended when I was doing the preacher uh, machine curls and I was leaning back. When I'm leaning back, I want to make sure my tension is all on my biceps and I'm really stretching that freaking muscle. I did like a slight pause, if you want to call it. Uh, three sets of eight reps. The burn was real. I didn't want to overdo it on my biceps because tomorrow is my rest day. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do like jump roping, bike riding, just do uh, you know cardio. But the next day I got shoulders. Oh, fuck, why am I so sleepy? Why am I yawning? Okay, the next day I got shoulders. The reason why I didn't want to blow out my biceps today also is because when I'm doing my shoulders, I didn't want my biceps to be like sore sore you know I, I mean if it's semi sore it's okay but if it's sore sore and my biceps tend to get really sore when I'm really training it like extra extra hard I get carried away all the freaking time and it gets sore like really freaking sore and when you're overhead pressing guys you don't want to have sore biceps it's too tough it's too tough and I'm pretty sure my overhead pressing I have a close grip like a close close grip so I need my freaking biceps to be fresh you know but that being said, man, today's session was great. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm doing good, man. I increased my calories a little bit, started doing a little bit more cardio. Oh, getting to sleep. I don't know why I'm sleepy. I don't know why I'm even yawning. I literally have to go to work in a few minutes, like, you know? And I have other work too. But anyways, today was a great session. I did really good. I just wish I was able to do a little bit more reps on my weighted dips, the paused. But uh, when I wrecked that weight, when I like put it on my body, I f that those felt so heavy. Those weights on the weighted dips felt so freaking heavy, you know. But nonetheless, we still did good. I hope you guys are learning a lot of things from the channel, from what I say, how I train, what I do. You guys should definitely push yourself. Like, there's gonna be times again, man, you might not know what to do, you might feel lazy, but there are three things that you should always focus on is your fitness, your financial, and the other one is your, you know, your knowledge. Watch podcasts, learn from podcasts, things like that, you know? Keep upgrading yourself, boys. Keep upgrading yourself, boys. And other than that, I'll see you guys all in my next video. You know, have fun, have fun with it. Yeah, and get jacked. Don't stay skinny. Get freaking jacked.